We've seen them learning deeply around issues that face their community, working together to find the best ways to address those issues, and then advocating relentlessly to see those issues addressed on a larger stage. It is that type of work that is getting our students to really care and dive deeply into doing the research and finding out more. They're completely invested. It's that engagement, that purpose, that's driving a lot of the work and a lot of the deeper skills that are coming from this. Because they're accessing all those standards, but now they're doing it through text and learning experiences that actually mean something to them. And so we're seeing really great academic work in the traditional sense, but it transcends that. So what could you say in a description? There's a lot of connections to our watershed. There is, there is. We're making tiles to make a map of our Escondido local watershed. Preserving our community so that the health of our watershed can improve. This is going to show them that there's hope. We've actually been taking care of Trouts in my classroom. We're releasing trout because it's very important for the ecosystem to be balanced. Your diet is bloodworms, shrimp, mealworms, insects. Watch out for predators. And it kind of feels sad just letting them go, but it's going to be in a better environment. The life cycle is going to keep on going. If you're here, if you're alive, you know, you should be working to help other people. We're going to have to actually go out, out of the school and actually do certain things to experience. Taking action towards something, creating a change, and then research, expanding your knowledge, making sure that you're aware of everything. I feel like education could just shift the whole universe. Challenge in their education, which can lead to unemployment, which can lead to hopelessness. So it could be like a chain reaction. Like if you think about our political system, was it ever good? We still have slavery, but we're a democracy. Power doesn't have to mean that like, you are in the government. It could be like power as in doing. And that thing you learn, you're going to end up teaching or telling somebody else, and that somebody else is going to learn, and then the kid's going in a cycle. Like Our project is a youth participatory action research project where students are going out into the field, thinking about social issues that matter to them then finding organizations that do good work, visiting those organizations and capturing it so that they can share that work with the community, raising awareness for both the social issue and the organizations that help. Young people need allies, need accomplices, people that will go to the, go to the map for them. Once you have that, I think you can take all the courageous things you need. And we are able to make a change if we work on something collectively and we're passionate about it. Doing that now through like the Better World Project develops our character um, and it develops it early so that we just keep on practicing it like now in college and for the rest of our lives. You can change the world or make a difference. Yeah, you don't need to be an adult to do something. You could do things when you're a kid. Nobody's better than the youth to combat these social issues. Generation after generation leaving a change on the world and a mark. When people say that we're rebellious, that comes with going against like the oppressions. Together we stand. We organize. We educate. We save our watershed and we help animals and we serve and... We have the power to make change and we're going to make change. <laughs>